Hello students. So today our subject is sedimentary rocks. This is from chapter 2, lesson 4 in the book and the learning target is I can explain the steps by which sedimentary rocks form and how fossils form within them. Now make sure that your page is lined, Cornell style, and this is going to go on page 29. Okay, so if you need to pause to get this, go ahead and pause. I'm going to move on. So this is uh, sedimentary rocks, and I've got a picture of a fossil here. Interesting story about that that I might share with you later. And so when we talk about sedimentary rocks, we need to talk about sediment. What is sediment? So sediment is small solid pieces of material that come from larger rocks or living things. It's from the Latin sedio, meaning to sit, and sedimentary rocks are rocks made from smaller rocks. That's the summary, basically. So the question then, how are sedimentary rocks formed? Basically, larger rocks break into smaller pieces, and the pieces collect somewhere. Obviously, it's more complex than that, and we're going to break it down. Formation process. You're going to have weathering erosion. Deposition. Three, compaction. Cementation. And lithification. So we're going to get each of those separately, so don't write those parts down. Um, question here, how do rocks break into smaller pieces? Uh, either weathering, so weathering could be freezing or thawing, plant roots breaking them open, acid rain, uh, basically breaking them into smaller pieces. Uh, erosion can break things into smaller pieces too, but we generally think about erosion as moving pieces somewhere else. So a glacier can carry them, water can carry them, wind will blow them places. So here's my question. Is this weathering or erosion? What's happening here? Think about what's happening. Look at the picture. Is it weathering or erosion? Got it? Did you pick weathering? Plant roots? Got it. Next picture. Is this weathering or erosion? What's happening here? This is the Mississippi Delta, Louisiana. If you said erosion because it's carrying it out, you look at all the this sediment being dumped out into the Gulf of Mexico, you're correct. Now, deposition. Think about deposit, like depositing money in the bank. Uh, deposition is when erosional forces carry sediment and it is left somewhere to accumulate or build up. You can see right there, there's a bunch of sand left behind. Um, compaction, next step, after that's been deposited, things get compacted down because the layers build up. So if it says eventually the sediment builds up and the pressure will compact the sediment together and squeeze excess water and or air out. Sometimes the sediment kind of bends depending on how, what it's made of. So that's compaction. It builds up on top of each other. As soon as there's enough on top, it starts to squeeze everything below it. Cementation, like cement, dissolved minerals like calcite can cause the sediment to glue together. Sometimes it's like mud and it just squishes and squeezes and sticks like that. But cementation is when those particles are sticking together like cement. And finally, lithification. That's when it's actually becoming a rock. So it's cemented, it's squeezed, all the water and air are out, and it's just a rock now. So this is a picture of some shale. And I've got a video here of fossil formation. And this is a nice little video clip. We've got an organism swimming around, living from the prehistoric times. And he's moving around, living his life. Let's skip ahead a little bit. So he just died. And now you can see that he's got his skeletons there. And we were going to watch that sediment build up and create a fossil, because fossils are a very unique part of sedimentary rock. As so you can see, de deposition, it's depositing all those particles, building up, burying the fossil. And you can see more and more layers, different types of sediment. And after a while, they're getting compressed and compacted. You can see, you'll start to see it squishing down. So it's going to squish down and now lithify after it's been cemented together. And now it's actually a rock. So, and that's how you know, that's how that forms. And how do we find the fossils? Well, more weathering and erosion are going to uncover those parts. So you can see right there, there's a fault forming. The waves are going to be crashing against. The waves are crashing against and eventually wearing down the rock to the point where that stuff is showing. Well, so that's the end. That's the end. Once you're finished with the notes, you have everything, you have all the detail and some of the things that I mentioned verbally, um, come see me and there's going to be a lab set up in the back for you to work on on the left side of your notebook on page uh, 28.